right, let's do this. Um, I'm Stephen Monkey Mason and welcome to Dracula's Town. Today was the most randomest day in a long time and I decided to go all the way down to Whitby which is on the east coast of England. Never eat shredded wheat, that's right, on the east coast. I had to think about it because my hands are reversed in the camera frame. Going on a rant. I told you this was going to be random. Not as random as yesterday when I was dressed as Nostradamus. No. Just no. Yeah, like that. Can never say his name. All day I've been getting it wrong and Annie's just been ripping us all day, going Nasaratu, Nasaratu. What does that say? There, Nasaratu, Nasadamus. Nasadamus, Nasadamus. I can never say his fucking name. There's Nasaratu, Nasaratu, Nasarutu. I can never say his name right. Fuck. Nasaratu, 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 Nasaratu. I can never say that right, and I bet any of you are pissing yourself laughing. I can never say it right. You'll probably watch later on as I try to explain. I'm just going to call him Nos from now on. Keep trying to say it, and I always get it wrong. It's Nasaratu, Nasaratu, Nasaratu. I can never say his name right. This motherfucker right here. Get rid of that text. I'm talking about this guy who I was yesterday. This is a. Uh, the first of many unreveals today as I've came back with a massive bag of random bits from there. But see, you want to open this up? This was a present of Annie, which is absolutely awesome. She got a Bella Lugosi one. Wow, it's a really nice print. Oh, it's absolutely awesome, that. Um, out the way, turtle turtle. So yeah, Nasaratu. Nasaratu? Maybe? Yes? No? Fuck. So anyway, when I got there, one of the first stores, well, the first shop we went to was Costa Coffee, because Annie can't function with her coffees. <coughs> anyway, the first shop we got there, I started to film, and guess what they were selling? We need Captain Planet. That's right, Captain Planet videos. <laughs> I can't believe that. And all the videos going in there, I was like, Captain Planet. But I turned around and I found this. I told you I had loads of bags. Where is it? Oh, it's here. No, it's not that one. Sorry, unplanned, unprepared. Now, in my recent videos, a man called Dan Percy has been busting my nuts about a Terminator video. Now, I couldn't find it in the old room. Overlay the old room. I am back and when I eventually did the top 20 movies of the 2000s and moved all this stuff in here I found it at the end of the video that's me there shouting out to Dan Percy hi I'm back again I eventually caught up with Dan and he's got his Terminator so now I don't have the Terminator I do have the Terminator signed by Michael Bean somewhere there we go but Finally on the outtakes while that noise has been irritating us but I've just like jumped ahead in time because it's later on the night and it's been a fucking weird night by the time this video ends you'll be like wow so I'm jumping well ahead of the video finishing and yes I've had a few beers but shit just got a bit insane by the end of the time this was filmed wow <laughs> anyway I'm talking about this and I'm thinking why the fuck did I pick this up you know, I've now got this, and I was like, why did I just talk about that it's signed by Metal Bean? I don't even want it. It just... One. What else can I put in this box? I'm keeping that. Like a doll, doll, dog. Giraffe. I should have made a wrap once upon a time. A backup. I don't know what I did with my rat. So, anyway, well, I can have Terminator Salvation. Well, nicely. I've got no salt tape right now, but if anyone wants this box, let me know. You can have it. <laughs> I have it on video again. Check this out, Dan Percy. This is a Terminator. In a slip box and it's a British release. I have never seen one of these for ages, decades. Uh, to me, these are retro rare. Terminator, 
Um, directed by James Cameron, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. And yeah, Terminator slip box. That is mint. And that was 10 pence. How mint is that? So that can go back to where it was when I give it away. Right, the next shop I got to, I had to take some notes here because I filmed a lot of stuff, including being in a random church. So yeah, that was me, just randomly in a church there. Now, after the church, I ended up in a golf shop. Now, the golf shop was so narrow, and I ended up at the back and I was filming because I could not resist of these boots. That is an impressive boot. Seriously, I quite like my golf stuff. I definitely like my look and golf girls. Hey, honey. Um, but who would wear that? And then there was these proper witch boots with a point like that. Like, fucking kill somebody, booting somebody then. Where's the fucking point on a toe? Some kind of witch thing. So there's a lot of, like, independent shops in Whitby, which is absolutely awesome. Now, next we walked all the way up the massive hill, and at the top of the hill you get an absolutely stunning view of Whitby. At one point, I was like, Welcome to Batmanville. And I was like, Batmanville? Bat I was going to say, I was in Batman Company. I'm in Dracula Company. Batman Town? I was like, It's meant to be Dracula Town, so I totally made a fool of myself. There was this tourist, not, well, I'm a tourist there anyway, but these other tourists was looking at a strange. I was like, Yeah, I'm from Concert. <laughs> you should come here sometime. You'll never come back. Anyway, we ended up going into the Abbey. Now, just as we were going up in the Abbey, um, I was bitching about the rain clouds turning grey in the sky and I was like, they're coming this way. And I got some nice shots at the Abbey and they just start absolutely pissing down on us. Like a fucking tornado. Raining, I think there's a hurricane coming, and then I'm trying to stand there with uh, Nasaratu. Nasaratu? Oh my god, I'm never gonna get that right. That's why it's very windy and wet. I mean, I got this here. <laughs> in vampire country, vampire country, Dracula country, that's what I meant to say. I've got a picture of myself in the shop. How wind is that? That's the twins. Anyway, look how beautiful this place is, except for the weather. Come to Whitby, come to Dracula, you come get soaking wet on the hill, full of rain. I did bring um, my makeup and coat, but I had left them in the car. Um, if you get a shot back of the thing, my car is right the way over there. It's put a circle over where my car is. Yeah, that's my car. I ain't walking back. Oh, hi, I'm back. I ain't walking back just to get that. Plus, with it raining, me and white. It would have been just disastrous, but the Abbey was absolutely stunning. I've still got a pen in my hand. Doofus. Anyway, after the Abbey we went into the church, now there was no filming allowed in the church, but that didn't mean I could film outside in the graveyard. Now, I do apologise, sort of, to be honest with you, because this is just who I am, and this is my kind of humour in a graveyard. Look at the size of this massive old vintage graveyard, and look at that. Talk about walking over someone's grave. Look at that. Then people have seen more people in the Metro Centre walking across their graves. Look at that. Poor Matthew Connor, Matthew Connor, Matthew Connor. Matthew Connor's a drummer of the Michelin band. Matthew Connor, Matthew Connor. So he's been dead since 1803. Imagine how many people's walking across there. Yeah, Night Air Max footprint. Poor bastard. So yeah, all these people. Look at this. It's like a tractor farm. Who's this lucky bugger over here? Hasn't even got a name. The nameless doesn't even have a fucking walking stick. I think being disrespectful. Not really. He hasn't been mentioned in years. Builder, who disappeared. Well, he's reappeared now, I found him. Yeah, I better stop getting a bit out of control. 
After walking down the massive hill, we entered this shop and I couldn't stop laughing and I had to take two pictures. Now, if you wipe the screen out, keep calm, hug a ginger. I had to send that to Jack as soon as I seen it. Now, if you get rid of that, so I've got this bag in my hand because that's what I bought in the shop. <laughs> wipe that side of the screen out. Mr. T, that's amazing. That is totally an Adam Scott. Adam Scott, Adam Stott, Adam Scott, whoops, he's from Yorkshire, I was in his hometown, why don't you have one of them, Adam, now get rid of that, so yeah, <laughs> keep calm, hug a ginger, <laughs> it's amazing, but in that shop I bought, in foot, Mitch Laddie album, I was actually listening into the car, that is not a plug, that's probably why I said Ma Matthew Connor, when I was looking at the gravestone, put that back to where it belongs, in there I brought myself a Dracula lollipop. It's got Dracula on. Don't know why I've just done that. I don't want to keep it. But no, I bought this. Nothing left from this bag, is it? Oh, present for me grandma. Should have given that straight away when I came in. Fuck. Anyway, poster. Now what possibly could be on this poster? And where the fuck am I going to put it? Seriously, let's have a look at this poster. I seen it and could not resist it. I can't get it fucking into it either. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh, it's gonna open the wrong way. Stupid thing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles retro 80s poster. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I have no idea. I'm just gonna put it there. No, it doesn't quite fit, but yeah, put that aside. In the outtakes, I will have found a home for this. And by the way, I've actually ordered a massive Burbs poster, which is probably going to be due tomorrow or Friday, so I'm, I can't really have a move around. Anyway, so that was a good shop. Now, after that shop, I met a seagull outside. They're a big one. That is a massive seagull. I'm really not a fan of seagulls. Now, it wasn't caught just on camera, but it was a guy behind us, and he went, Steven Seagal, and I went, what? I know it's a seagull. How do you even know my name? And then I went, oh, fucking hell, Steven Seagal. It was such a bad joke by the guy. I instantly reacted, thinking. Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I thought he was talking to me at first. <laughs> fucking idiot, but that's a massive seagull. Now, just walking down there, there was a Bram Stoker's Dracula, done out like the um, art of the 90s film, art, the art cover. And uh, me and Annie went in, and I had visions back of like Hollywood, and I was saying, oh, this will be absolutely awesome. No. It was one of these ones where you walk past and things jump out, and I filmed it. And the only bit I thought was really, really cool was the bit of the Gary Oldman in the red robe coming out at us. I thought, yeah, that was pretty scary, but overall it was a bit like uh, broken things and next thing you know, this kid comes screaming, absolutely fucking hysterical past us. So yeah, that kid was absolutely freaked out and I was like, what's around this corner to freak her out? And it was just these four things, one of them with Jack Lee's face, another one in the coffin. Again, I was filming without that because I was looking around, I could see CCTV, CCTV cameras. So I was just like, you know, filming away, so yeah. And then you come out the back street, and I was like, great, we've come out the back street, and I found another shop. And I bought a Gremlins cup, and guess who was on it? Strike bubble bubble, twice. A proper yum yum look. So I've got a stripe cup to go with my Gremlins cover cup, my blueprint of a Mogwai cup. I don't use these. If I'm going on a rant, I've got the Awesome Adventures of Stephen Monkey Mason cup. I've got a chunk, truffle shuffle. Don't know why I look so serious. Probably, probably because I'm breaking the fourth wall and looking at David Johnson, known as Suggy. I've got another Goonies cup. And I've got my Go Go Gremlins travel mug, which I used in my um, 
second tribute video to the Gremlins and I took a beer in it and I hadn't washed it beforehand and spat it fucking everywhere. So I've got a new Gremlins cup. Oh, it says look inside. Oh, fuck my hell. Never feed them after midnight. Don't get them wet. And keep them out of bright lights. So yeah, that's my Gremlins official mug. Last words on the laser disc. Wait a minute. Why don't I have a reflection? Huh? I have no reflection. <gasps> right, sorry, I just jumped back to NOS there from yesterday. It's random as fuck, just fucking bitching about a laser disc looking a bit funny while I was trying to put the Gremlins Cup back in its box. Now, I do have one more thing I bought, but there's a couple of more things happened. As I was walking out the shop where I bought the mug from, I seen a pub and I was like, not going in there because it's cold. Wipe the side of the screen out. Book in. And what does it say underneath it? <sighs> For a booking good night. Ooh, no, get away with that. So yeah, that was uh, quite funny. Um, there was also a shop called The Masons. Wipe the separate scene down. Got a shop. Now if I had a shop, I'd probably sell DVDs and collectibles and movie stuffs and hats. Not the fucking vegetables. Anyway, get rid of that. So yeah, Whitby is a really nice place. No. Just, no. Anyway, when I came out of that shop, Annie was there, I've got you a present. And Annie got us a little skeleton man. It's mint. He waves and stuff. Thank you very much for that. And then she took, I'm going to put him in there. Stay. And also, absolutely blown away by their little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles key ring. Wow, I'm such a kid. I'm going to put it up there for now. Along with, I forgot to mention this the other day. In the description below is a tribute. Not a tribute, it's a collection of all the retro turtles. And check this out. That's when you know you're a turtles fan. That is an original glow in the dark uh, little turtles with his little bandana on. I can't remember where you got them from, but I actually found it buried in a drawer and totally forgot about it when I did the turtles video. Now, as you see, I'm a massive collector, and my, one of my biggest things is the Gremlins Stripe Bubble Bubble. And you can't have a stripe if you don't have a motherfucking gizmo. I've wanted one of these for ages. There are discontinued, but obviously in um I was gonna say Whitby, that's one. In Whitby there was a couple left in a shop. There was actually a bobblehead and I thought at first I thought, I thought it's another one, not stripe, but it was stripe. So I went for a gizmo instead, and guess what? Talking about this pathogen, this motherfucker sings. Mint. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. That, how awesome is that? Right, anyway. Fucking looking at the screen. Stop it! So, yeah, I got myself a gizmo. Anyway, what am I doing? That's distracting us. Be quiet. Okay, after that, I decided to do a video review in Whitby. And it wasn't about anything to do with fucking vampires. So that was my day in Whitby so far, some random stuff. So while I'm here, I don't need to wipe this out of the because I have it in my hand. I brought this all the way from home. I thought, well, what film could I review that involves Dracula or the seaside? So I picked the Basketball Diaries. Totally fucking nothing to do with the sea or Dracula. Leonardo DiCaprio film from... 1996, it's based on the Jimmy Coral story. I thought that's his name. I haven't planned this. Be quiet, but man. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's Jimmy Coral. It's based on the 1970s Jimmy, Co Jimmy Coral. Is that who said Jimmy Coral? Yeah. Jimmy Coral. Uh, basically, stars about a kid who's a young, upcoming basketball player, and for some reason, fuck my fu Oh my god, what is on that? I have no idea what is on this crusty box. No idea what that crud is. <laughs> Get back to me talking about this. What the fuck? It's like got moulded jizz on it or something? I don't know. Fucking. Whoa. Anyway, shut that back up for sure. Jesus. This film is not available on DVD or Blu ray. And uh, before Train Spotting, there was. So this was obviously released after Train Spotting. Unlike we were watching their dog spotting. 
Um, the film should get released now because Mark Wahlberg's in this. So Leonardo DiCaprio, Mark Wahlberg, um, prior to The Departed. But yeah, it shows a long story of basically a kid who basically goes from being a basketball star and starts taking cocaine and then sucking guys' dicks for money in toilets. That's where we're going with this. But yeah, pre-Titanic, um, but definitely, if you haven't seen it, definitely worth checking it out. Now let's get back home and not be talking about fucking random fucking basketball diaries. I thought it was called Baseball Diaries there for a second. Let's get mad, it's completely and utterly fucked that up. <laughs> but you know, this is random. So I really should have brought a sailor film like The Perfect Storm. Don't have it. Um, Deep Blue Sea. Not really a boating film. In fact, I don't really have any boating films. <laughs> Fucking Jaws! I just remembered Jaws! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute! Fucking oh. you, watch this. <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> Jaws pause. <laughs> so yeah, back back home. So yeah, there I am talking about boats and totally forgot about motherfucking Jaws. I uh, even had the t-shirt on. Um, Jaws, massive fucking fan of Jaws. Be quiet. Um, massive fan of Jaws and totally forgot about I've already done a tribute video to Jaws, the description is in the description, the link's in the description, shut the fuck up Gizmo. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, after that it was time to set off back and as I was driving I was following a big, what looked at first from a while, maybe should have gone to spec saves, looked like a food truck. And when I got a bit closer I realised it wasn't a food truck, but all of a sudden I had an idea to talk about Chef. We'll have, to figure out, we'll have to figure out which way I go off this roundabout. Alright, it's one of them fake ones for no reason. Fill the pot of pipe away a second. So hi there. I don't know what the screen I'm Chef, okay. I'm just going to put that out my hand as I am driving. And this is, uh, I'm just going to be looking this way. So I can get the side of my face. And hopefully I've got the white fucking paint off my face from yesterday. Um, just driving back from Whitby. And after the disaster of the basketball diaries, and he said baseball diaries again. <laughs> um, last night I watched Chef, it's one of the reasons I brought it uh, with us. Um, brilliant film, made in 2014, directed, written, directed, and starring John Fazenhew, John Fazenhew, John Fazenhew. And um, basically, um, it's a story of a father who's a chef, a divorcee, and basically tells Dustin Hoffman, who is his boss, to fuck off, he's not cooking his menus. Enters a food war with some critic played by Oliver Platt, I think it is. And basically goes to Miami and gets a food truck off Robert Downey Jr. Now, John Fazio also directed Iron Man 1 and 2, so I'll star in them alongside Robert Downey Jr. Charlotte Johansson, or however you say her name, the girl who gets a buff out in um, Under the Skin, she's in it. So it's like a lot of cameos. It's an amazing story of driving across America, making food. Now, the thing to tell you a film about making food and driving across America, it is awesome. The fucking stories there, the acting is brilliant. And yeah, um, just got inspired there for a second off there. That random, was a food truck, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I better get driving before I cause the problems. Right, next bit of footage. So after that, it was a two hour drive home and I get all the way home, I drop Annie off and had a great day with her and um, I pull out of the junction next to hers and my car stops. Right, this is unbelievable what just happened here, right? I've drove about 200 miles today um, I've literally just dropped Annie off there and my car just broke down right here, about a minute from where I live. Look. Unbelievable. Can you believe this has just happened to us? So basically I phoned my mom and I'm like, hi hey, mom, guess what? I broke down. She went, oh no way. Now I forgot to mention this from yesterday. Where is my phone? When I was doing pictures of uh, Nos, him, and I was dressed up. I sent a picture to my mom. Now, the first time I'm probably going to say this word in this video. And yeah, where is it? There we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
My mum called me a daft cunt. Thanks, mum. Really, thank you. No, but definitely thank you. As my mum and my stepdad Morris came to my rescue. So yeah, my hazards are still on. Um, top 20 movies of the 2000s came out last night, which is pretty cool. As well as um, my uh, new alter ego, this dude. Um, I'm going to make this video and post it as soon as it's finished, really. An alternative is due out on Saturday yeah. while I wait for um, a rescue. Before this video ends, let's just do a little bit of time travelling since it's meant to be about vampires and I'm talking about basketball diaries and chefs. Let's talk about motherfucking pump up the volume because yesterday this came in the post and I forgot I ordered it and my reaction was just like, motherfucker, I forgot about that. I only remember what order in one DVD, the rest were videos and a gigantic Burbs poster. I just have no idea where I'm going to put it. Let's have a look. Is it for the tribute? No, it's not. It's not. I totally forgot to order this. Totally shocked. It's Pump Up the Volume of Christian Slater. Mint. <laughs> mint. Absolutely mint. This looks like a Chinese import. This has not been available on DVD for about 10 years. Um, wow. It's a Chinese import, this works on all regions, so the fucking Amazon sold us, but get in, Christian Slater, pump up the volume. It's a really bad print. Special features. Chapter stops. Ch chapter stops. Now the chapter titles are on the back. Main title, Dear Henry, Out of Touch, Talk Hard, Mr. Serious, Get Closer, An Announcement, Get Crazy, A Listener Speaks, Crackdown on campus, out of control, emergency meeting, call, detention, um, consequences, listeners, party, road short, no more, hiding, end credits. So yeah, um, I'm going to open this. Yeah, pump up, I'd love to pump up the volume. Um, I think it's up there, off camera. Yeah, it's right at the top, up there. Um... But man, I totally forgot. I thought this was going to be my license to drive from Germany, but it's not. There you go, disc, no age rating. It's got a really, like, I mean, it's a very orangey cover, a bit of blue on the background. It almost looks copied, to be honest with you. It generally does look like a copy DVD. Um, <coughs> so, I mean, I don't even know what this video is. Wipe the side of the screen out, that's what I'm on about. Very orangey. Now, why? You're looking at that. Let's have a look up here. Get rid of that. He's the original. Pump up the volume, Christian Slater. He's got a microphone. This film really puts Christian Slater on the map. It did. Um, it's a 15. No idea what region that is. A little bit orangey. Better picture though. Um, but I think, that, to be honest with you, that's more a shot from the film. That's definitely more for that. Purple on the background. Pink, sorry. But yeah, a random video entry. Um, not even sure what I'm going to do with this one. Thanks for watching. I've been Stephen Monkey Mason. I hope you've enjoyed Dracula's Town. There's going to be some outtakes. There's going to be some extra footage. But thanks for watching. Said that twice now. Goodbye. Okay, I just said it was the end of the video. But when I watched the video back, I went, there's not a lot of Dracula in this or vampires. Stuff like basic ball diaries, basic basketball diaries. And <laughs> you said it again. <laughs> Chef. You know, I was like, why is Chef in it? It's meant to be about vampires. And there was no Annie, even though you were there all the way through Whitby. Um, lurking in the background like a creature of the night in the shadows. So that is Annie. <laughs> and Annie is a bit of a Dracula nut. Like this guy. Yeah, see? He's got to keep on talking. There we go. It's like Gizmo, like Gizmo's big brother I got, um, who wouldn't stop going, oh, oh, all last night. So you can stay there. Now, we went to have a look at some vampire films. So we're going to rattle through some vampire films, and we're going to show you some pretty rare and awesome collections. So I haven't seen any of these. Hopefully you have. I have. Yeah. 
So first up we've got a Vampire Circus. Mm -hmm. The greatest blood show on earth. Any good? Fabulous. Really? Mm -hmm. Looks old. It is. 70s. Shit. What the fuck did you put that in the pile for? <laughs> We that, were, was, it, that was him. Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> I haven't seen Twilight, but it's a vampire film. You put that in. Curse of the Werewolf. Mm -hmm. Where's the Universal book? Universal were massive back in the early 1900s. What the fucking size of that? Yes, Frankenstein on the back. Can you tell me who these all are? You horror maniac. Uh, like names or? What characters? Dracula, the mummy. Uh, the Wolfman, The Gillman, Phantom of the Opera, and Bride Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> Universal Massive. I'm a big fan of the creature from the Black Lagoon. I often wear a t shirt. Uh -huh. And he has the figures. Mine. You've got one there as well. Who's he? The Wolfman. Yeah. Mine. So Annie's a bit of a nut when it comes to collecting stuff. Like this. This does not belong to me. <laughs> so yeah, back to the movies From Dust Till Dawn Fabulous Fabulous collaboration between Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez Double disc one, nice one mm -hmm. Wow The Vampire Clan Seen it? Nope I've never heard of anybody in this Probably sucks Wow Eddie Murphy Eddie Murphy and Eddie Murphy. I mean, it is one of them films where Eddie Murphy plays multiple characters, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, directed by the late Wes Craven. Um, I did enjoy that, but it was didn't know if it wanted to be a full-on comedy or a horror. Yeah. What's this called? Vampires. Vampires. Vamp. Sorry, that was me looking at the stupid font. <laughs> so, that looks like me as Nos. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you like that film? It was good. It was good. This is an awesome DVD steelbook of Nightwatch, which is the Russian films. Um, very visual strike and has a f sequel called Daywatch, but I always thought that would get remade at some point, but never. Oh, going right down hell here. Underworld, Vampires vs. Werewolves. Kate Blanchard, apparently, according to Jack, if you watch Alternative 3, it's Kate Beckinsdale, Jack. <laughs> I know. Underworld 2 Evolution It's weird that because she's not in the third one But she's in the fourth one She's going to be in the fifth one I don't know The old demon classic The old demon classic Lost Boys One of my favourite films of all time Shadow of a Vampire um, I want to see this It is based on Is it the story of the film of Nos? Yes Yeah produced by Nicolas Cage Okay Boy. But yeah, um, Willem Dafoe, Eddie Lizard, really? I wanted to see this, so it's awesome that you have that. How much do I make myself look like a tit by having this in my hand? Did you just say Eddie Lizard? <laughs> That's not Lizard. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Go on. It's late. It's been a long... Everything you're seeing in this video, including my car fucking breaking down, the trip to Whitby, um... Going to sort a new car out, eating this fucking burger. Um, I don't know why I said eating this fucking burger. It was like I've overlaid it. Well, there uh, go flashback. I just overlaid it. So anyway, when I was in Whitby, I started banging on about the basketball diaries and how it's never been on DVD. Oh fuck my life, she has it, or oh, her sister has it. There it is. But it is discontinued. I had to. Uh, there's no disc in it. So <laughs> someone, someone knows this isn't available and has already fucking stolen it. <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, so yeah, this is a very good film. Again, it hasn't had Mark Wahlberg's name on it. That is just random as fuck. That doesn't have it in. See, the one I have on video is very sticky. As you've seen in that. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't realise you picked these up. I did. Blade Trilogy. Uh, first one, amazing. Except for the red font at the start. Stephen Dorff is mint. Second one, I love Hellboy. This is directed by Del Toro in it. Um, Wesley Snipes turns into a Mortal Kombat animated character and starts flying around the screens. I know Wesley Snipes is sometimes hard to get a hold of and doesn't want to do stuff, but there's no need to make him look like a fucking PlayStation 1 graphic 
animating flying character in a big budget movie. And the third one, starring Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool, the Green Lantern. You love the Green Lantern. Yeah, Wesley Snipes pretty much Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes pretty much went AWOL. And in this one, particularly here, Wesley Snipes takes on Dracula. Yes, yeah, he does. Yeah. Yes, he does. And obviously classic Stephen King, not Steven Spielberg. Fuck you, Jack. Steven Spielberg directed, I think this is fascinating that she's got this as well. We've got Chief Brody. I'm passing them along. Oh. Because I'll probably sit on them. We've got Quinn. Quint. Quit. <laughs> Quig. Remember that? I am Quig from Red Dwarf. <laughs> we are talking joke of the century. And um, we've got Hooper. And I can't believe she's got this and I fucking don't. Did it. Bruce the Shark? Back, show the back. Yep, awesome picture. A smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you yell shark, and we've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. So, yeah, collect them all. She has collected them all. She fell for the marketing strategy here when you really only need Bruce for the Shark and Quint. Quinn. Quint. But no, that is absolutely awesome. Do you put that in the bathroom? You haven't even opened this, have you? No. But I've got the movie Maniac ones, and I know you hate me because of it. Hate you. So, <laughs> except for Star Wars, fucking Silver Surfer on this side, what have you got over there? Now, first off, when I, I was very happy that you got me Nostradamus, Nostradamus. Nosferatu? Nosferatu, I could never. You got? What did you get? Your Bella Lugosi? I did. My Bella. You got a real crush on him, don't you? Mm -hmm. The children of the night. What music they make. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's came out with his packaging though, hasn't he? He has. He's loose. In a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> but she also has Creature from the Black Lagoon. Which is awesome because it's all black and white. Um, I think limited edition. Have, limited edition stun. Obviously American, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's got a lot of stuff from America because that's where it's used to live. A Dracula plush. You're a Jack Nuts. And this? That's, that's really good. It's very rare. Um, very valuable. Uh, no really pictures of, of Bella or anything on it, but very interesting if you're a collector of Universal stuff, which I am, so there you go. How come it doesn't have Creature of the Black Lagoon on it? Um, it should, because there is one, which is also very rare, but this is also very rare, and I own it, so thank you. <laughs> uh... Quick, so, quick question, why do you have this? Do you want to blow into that? No. Please do it. This is the Bigfoot call. Make Bigfoot sounds. Mm -hmm. Now bear in mind, you got this before we even met. Yeah. And he's me running around looking for Bigfoot last week in the woods. I should have had this. <laughs> That's not what Bigfoot sounds like. <laughs> this is what you hear with Bigfoot. It's like stick banging and rock throwing. Not. <laughs> oh, I can do a gizmo impression. <laughs> no, I can't. No, you can't. Nah, it's harder to really. That's harder to blow than fucking one of them balloons I've been trying to blow up lately. Right, okay. What else do you got on your side? Okay. Um, I have a collectible mini mates of Universal Monsters, which is uh, Van Helsing and Dracula. It's Dr. Van Helsing. Dr. Van Helsing. I know a little bit about this. We tried. We didn't. We, I will tell you what, at least we didn't put that Van Helsing film with Hugh Jackman in it. Oh. I did actually notice that in there. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> no. Just no. So, yeah, these are the only ones that I have. Um, obviously, there's a whole collection on the back right there. Uh, but. 
these are my two favourites, so these are the ones that I own. Again, American. What? Again, American. Oh, you forgot your DVD. I did. I ran on and on about all these <gasps> vampire movies, and she forgets her fucking punchline. And, yes, I'm so sorry. This is my... Uh, a hundred anniversary uh, Dracula with Bela Lugosi Blu-ray. No DVD. DVD. I did have the Blu-ray. This is not the Blu-ray. This is DVD. Um, got a nice little cover and uh, lots of nice bonus features and a lovely guy in the front doing the thing with his hands. <laughs> Bela Lugosi. The thing is about them covers, it's the same as the King Kong ones, and for a time they had an app, and what you did is you put your phone over it, and King Kong climbed up the Empire State Building, so I don't know what Dracula would have done, but they're very limited covers. And very cool, if you're a collector, like me. Or um, old. <laughs> didn't say anything at all. Yes, he did. Uh, okay, so this is a flat world figure of... Uh, Dracula, um, which is really cool because it has Bella Lugosi on the back and a little description of his, uh, like a mini biography of him uh, before his role of Dracula and during, and he looks really cool in that, as you can see with his whole garb on. We're not allowed to take him out of the box. And no, we're not. He has a little bat and a little candle, and if you're a collector, as I said, as I am, you would love to have this. Just the art on the side, you just don't get that now as well. Right. And obviously if you've got that post on the internet, that'll probably get bent or something like that. I'm not talking about that bent. <laughs> okay. My God. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I do actually have some more books somewhere. Oh, God. Well, I just wonder why you've got this for. Why have you got Zuki for? Like Godzilla's son? He's so priced. So priced, he's got red stains. I thought he had his period there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My fucker. <laughs> okay. Um... So this is the Life and Films of Bela Lugosi, the official biography. Um, you haven't read that, have you? I have. Fuck. I've read it. It's a big read, has lots of cool pictures of his early theatre life and really cool stuff. Um, obviously, if you're a fan of him, you've got to have this. So it's Bela Lugosi, Christopher Lee. Mm -hmm. Gary Oldman was quite good in the Dracula role. I wouldn't put him in the same league. Uh, is that but. creepy guy from the uh, Monster Squad? <laughs> the 80s thing? Was Dracula in Buffy the Vampire State at any point? I don't know. Probably just got a one-off episode. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen? Dracula dead and loving it. <laughs> This is um knocking everything over. This is a uh, This is a cat with laser beams destroying the world in a three D form. Yes it is. I'm sorry to put it in there. <laughs> uh so when you go on Amazon for random stuff and you find little gems like this, which actually was a library book in Michigan at some point that I actually purchased, which is now mine. Um, which is, has a really early picture of him on the front when he did his theatre work. Um, then a really odd picture on the back. And a little just Lugosi down the side, which is obviously like some kind of uh, bootleg thing, I guess. I don't know. It's it's actually really good, though. One but, of the, his offside biographies sort of thing. Um, um, Lugosi worked with Edward, didn't he? Yes, he did. the end of his career. Yeah. Yeah. A Tim Burton film with Johnny Depp in when Johnny Depp plays the real life director and cross dress guy, Edward. Um, you got a big cast in there, but yeah, I don't know, I can't remember what film Bella Gorsi was in, but. 
the, the, the very last. Um, he did actually have it there. Can't. Jump cut. Have... Jump cut here. Jump cut there. Ow, 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 ow. What have you sat on? Godzilla? Jaws? Mm. Right there? Everything. Everything. Because I sit on everything. Uh, this is... <laughs> This is this is Bride of the Monster, um, which is an Edward movie, and it is very obviously low budget and very bad acted. But obviously, if you like B movie kind of things, uh, which were actually really in at the time and kind of in now, uh, you'll find this entertaining. Obviously, the acting isn't brilliant, but thing is, right, if we didn't have Edward, we wouldn't have Tim Burton. Right, right. Edward inspired brilliant good filmmakers. He'd shown that, like, even though, like, Hollywood's not going to give you the money, it just takes a chance and fucking... Now, it's a big inspiration. He's batshit crazy, like, but there you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, these uh, characters in this are actually portrayed in the Edward movie. Like this big fat guy in the back That's here. That's George Animal Steel. He's a wrestler who <laughs> used to eat turnbuckles. So, yeah, it's definitely something you need to, to own. I think he's one of the only cast members that actually was still around to do the Edward movie as well. Mm -hmm. I think he plays himself. He was a bit of a dumbass. He's a wrestler. He used to have a t green tongue. <laughs> and eat turnbuckles. Okay, um... Are we keeping you interested? This is one big long take. No retakes or anything like that. If there's any problems with the footage, we ain't doing it again. <laughs> so, uh... Some magazines we got going mm -hmm. here. So on the Hammer aspect of things, we have Dracula, Prince of Darkness, which, uh... And that's really, really ugly back over there. It's a fucking mint drawing, though. It's... Mm, yeah. It's pop art. So you have like lots of stills and stuff from the, like that's really cool, that is really awesome. Yeah. Uh, lots of stills and stuff from from that uh, particular movie. Lots of Hammer stuff, which Christopher Lee obviously was really big as Dracula back in the sixties. Um, that's really awesome. That's a classic picture of him right there as Dracula, the looking, really, of looking really brutal. Um. Christopher That's, Lee. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Why is Christopher Lee a legend to me as well? Well, he was in Gremlins too, wasn't he? Fucking brilliant. Not so fast, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, um, obviously, Christopher Lee has played a lot of iconic roles in Hammer films. As you see, there's Dracula, there is Frankenstein, the monster, which obviously he was... Uh, when it was re the creature, wasn't yeah, it? when it, when it was reviewed, he was actually portrayed as looking somewhat like Jerry Lewis when he was the monster, which I read in a review once, which is so random and stupid. But look at these pictures. These pictures are brilliant in this magazine when you collect stuff like this. This magazine is called The Dark Side, which I'm probably not allowed to say, but Why? Um, I don't know, just whatever. <laughs> um, you know That's about the dog side? You're the one who bought a gollywog yesterday. <laughs> Should have said that. Oh, I've just looked at him and I have a Dracula postcard there. The whole room's Dracula. <laughs> um, so yeah, when you when you find little little gems like this from time to time. That's obviously respecting that he passed him, wasn't it? What? Was it one made after he died? No, no, actually this is while he was still alive. This is just uh got his death metal band in there. Uh, oh god, yeah. When he sang Jingle Bells. Uh did I go through this one? Okay. No, this is this is a different one. This is the one I got in America. Um which again has some a lot of pictures of his different roles on the front right there. Not all horror, just like random roles of Charlie his. and the Chocolate Factory? As he was, as he was in a lot of, uh, not so much horror, but also lots of different movies as well. Wasn't he Fu Manchu? He was, he was Fu Manchu, and just look at him, like he was, he was just, he was Dracula, like right there. Look at the teeth. 
But wasn't Donald Gorsi before him? He was. He was. Hang on a minute. What? Wait what? a minute, wait a minute. Cut back to my house a minute. How did I forget about Count Ducklier? The most classic vampire ever. Uh, I totally forgot about this. This is one of the oldest videos I've ever had. It's appeared in a few videos, but it still works. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. See, that is a far better tune than you. Right, let's get back to um. Uh. Right, let's get back to me and Annie looking at Dracula stuff. Hi, we're back. How did I forget about me Count Duckley video that sings? Literally, how did I forget about that? <laughs> Okay, so... It's all about iconic Dracula's, sorry. Yeah. Count Dunkley, David Jason. So we're just... <laughs> so we're just in the middle of skimming through some of my magazines and when you get shots like that of Christopher Lee, which he's such a legend, he was such a legend, God bless him. Um, you know, stuff like this is just really awesome to have. So that's that. That's my little mini magazine collection. I do have more, but I can't find it, so... Um, so next we have... Annie has a pop vinyl, but Annie actually has a few pop vinyls now. I do. But, ironically enough, I totally forgot she had this pop vinyl. Mm -hmm. I think you did until we were talking about doing this tonight. <laughs> and what is your pop vinyl? My pop vinyl is actually... Nostradamus. Damn it! Nosferatu. I can never see. Not Nostradamus, the guy that predicted the end of the world. It is actually Nosferatu. Uh, there he is with his teeth out, as you can see in one of Steve's videos. Uh, he was perfectly portrayed by... There he is there on the side, looking as evil as ever. And there he is in his little shadow form walking up the stairs with his hand sticking out. Um, so, meant. yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I must have. Definitely. I don't even know what the idea of all that came up with. We were talking about last week. And next thing you know, you get a picture on Facebook. This is me dressed in white. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Like when I was, like when we were in uh, Whitby. And I turned around and you stand standing there with <laughs> a picture of him. Yeah, taking a photo of yourself with a picture of you from the other day. <laughs> it's great. And, oh, wait a minute, before she goes on for her last thing, are you going to open this anytime soon? Yes. Because I keep getting loads of shit. This is Deep Red I bought, which is a highly collectible Arrow one. That actually sounds really rude. Or Deep Red. Deep Red. Yeah, it's because you're in the porn. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get on to your final thing. So my final thing, which is actually really dusty now, in a nice way because it's been kept in the box and hopefully she's going to actually get it out of the box here oh maybe yeah actually uh okay all right so this is my christopher lee bust that i purchased the day that he died uh because obviously you know things like that are very valuable when people die in the nicest way possible god bless him you Love didn't you. hesitate did you, you did i it. did not i spent 70 pounds on this uh there is a a Peter Cushing one as well. There's a little collection of the, the Hammer films right on the back there with, with the lady. Uh, the uh, the Countess Dracula. There is obviously Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing uh, as Van Helsing from the uh, Horror of Dracula. That's pretty cool because like, Peter Cushing was in The Curse of Frankenstein and he, make, he makes the creature. Mm -hmm. But then by the time that comes around, he's taken a back seat. Like Christopher Lee has, like, like he's become the bigger thing now. It's almost reverse roles, isn't it? Well, yeah. Uh, the Horror of Dracula was released first, where he obviously uh, played Van Helsing, which is a good guy, and and obviously he was Dracula. And then, yeah, so Curse of Frankenstein came around, and he's the bad guy, and he's just the idiot, yeah. you know? So, so this is my, I mean, do I, do I really do this? You could have opened it. Like, this is... It's taped on one side, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, 
this is this is going to be awesome i have wasn't allowed to say i don't even know what this looks like do you want a hand holding your box yes please <laughs> coming out <laughs> okay so this is all taped see we haven't planned this script this and we're just winging it but I just thought the video I know it's gonna be long as fuck now mm. like really long um, but now nah, at least we're paying a bit homage to Dracula What would you do if you opened it up and you actually wasn't even in there? <laughs> you just put the display box. So, his head is loose. Oh my god. Is he broken? No, no he's not. You had to put the head on. You're going to have to give Dracula a head. That's a fantasy of yours come true, isn't it? No, I need some scissors. Up there, in the Dracula cup. Where else was the scissors be? In the fucking Dracula cup? loose head which is very realistic oh wow it is he's got a little bit of a tuff on his nose he does was this a display one so we just want to stick that no, his in head's there. broken off we no, have it's to... not no you just put it in like that so there it is there he is in all his glory. Mr. Lee. Does he stand up? Yep. Oh, he's heavy. Mm -hmm. So that is the Christopher Lee vampire. Track there. He's got a bit of fluff on there. Now that is absolutely stunning. His hands come out as well. Crap myself there. I thought his fucking hand fell off. Yeah, they, I think. Do they come out? That one does. Okay. So before I drop this and break this, this has been um, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Godzilla, Jaws, Gremlins, Bigfoot, Basketball Diaries, Twilight. And let's see what the outtakes bring. He's now take fair. Forgot about postcard and he goes. Dracula is whippy. Whoops. Next outtake. Here's an outtake fair. I've just been in the shop and the new concert magazine is out. Now this is the first time in over five months that I haven't been in. That's because Death of the Video Shop comes out on the 1st of May. Online, uncut. The whole story for the first time, which is awesome. But obviously I've just got the new one. Have a quick click through. And funny enough, I'm not in it. But... Where's he at? There we go, that Matthew Connor is. Um, Steel Town Music is 10 years old, which is absolutely awesome. Like, they're like Matt and Jed, like Crazy Ryan, and that bizarre Mitch Laddy who works there as well. But yeah, nice little lot, Arnold there as well. So yeah, it was pretty awesome. And then obviously Matthew Connor. And so what happens when I was listening to the Mitch Laddy album all the way down, gets to a gravestone and I'm looking at it and see Matthew Connor rather than Matthew whatever it was, can't remember now, but you know, next outtake. Will you be quiet? Yes, yes, yes. You're not getting fed. Sh Finished? Fucking gizmo. Next outtake. Here's an outtake for you. It's the next day. I happened to get my car towed. This would be uh, interesting. Here's an outtake for you. Why are you transparent in front of me? Get away, vampire. Next outtake. Okay, here's an outtake for you. I just had my elbow tattooed. Man, it absolutely sucks. I hate you, Jade. I absolutely hate you. I need to get washed soon.
we are boys, like huge. Anyway, um, I've just been watching the bit where I go into the Dracula place and I mentioned Hollywood. Um, so when I was in Hollywood in 2010, I remember the House of Wax there. Uh, and I honestly thought I had a shot of Gary Oldman in his red robe. And I'm positive, but like, <laughs> I'm literally, I've given up looking for it because there's about 20 minutes of footage. And basically, me walking through this fucking house of wax, and I found some really interesting things. First off, guess what? Bella Lagosi is Dracula. Yeah. Couldn't believe it when I seen it. As it's like that's the Bella Lagosi. Now I've just made them stills. It actually is footage. But if you get rid of Bella, next one, the Mummy. Going back to this whole Universal Classic Monsters. So there's the Mummy. If you get rid of the Mummy, there's Pinhead. I'm getting a bit random there. But Pinhead's really fucking scary. So is, if you get rid of that, Legion, or whatever, Legend, whatever you call Tim Curry's character in that, creepy fucking horn guy, get rid of that. My personal favourite, like it's Raphael, but it's a Turtles Waxworks, that was awesome. Get rid of that. Phantom of the Opera, from the classic ones, and for some reason, that's me in front of it. As I would think, I was complaining about the flashing light trying to get the shot. I get bitchy, you know. And then, Check that one out. Is that Annie? Totally looks like Annie. <laughs> Get rid of Annie. Is that Annie the last one? Oh yes, oh yes. And basically if I step here, because I totally need to go to the corner, I was convinced this Gary Oldman one existed. So you wipe me out in two seconds, not just yet. Um, I found this picture and Annie's gonna hate us of it. Now wipe it out. Do you see it? That is the gill man's head that they used to mold the suit on. That is the real thing. Hi, I'm back. I did the whole VIP thing in Hollywood where I got to go around Universal Studios back lot, so there's some really cool stuff. If you wipe the side of the screen out, that's me and my uh, jaws. Still terrified of it, get rid of that. Right, making this video even longer. Next outtake, next bit, anything. Lost the downloads. Oh, fucking lost the downloads. It's a very great time to say thank you to Morris. You know, he's awesome. He was my Sasquatch a few weeks ago for. Um, Abominable, and now he's helping us. Um, well, sort my car out. Where am I going to put this? Next out here. Was that even caught on camera? I just put that on the roof, and it just fell down just as I press record. So I was going to put it on the roof. So next out here. Here's an outtake for you. this is the corner of the room you don't see and there was space underneath my Lost Boys poster for my Turtles poster, so even though it's not sure I see it when I walk out the door, so that's sorted Here's an outtake for you. it's the next morning and this morning I couldn't even get in the door because my Turtles poster fell off Great, next outtake Okay, I got hungry, so I came to the Traveller's Rest, which is the same place, like there, was where my car broke down last night. Traveller's Rest is right there. Lovely blue sky night. And I just ate a massive burger and an extra portion of Hunter's Chicken, and I am absolutely stuffed. Okay, here's an outtake for you. This right here is a new car. Well, it's paper at the moment. Um, so hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have a new car. Because I can't believe my new car died. But this morning I got a letter from Scott. Dear Mr. Monkey, please leave that clown outfit at home. Too scary. Thanks, mate, Scott. Mmm, motherfucker. Mmm, tickets. Mmm. Boy jump ship album launch. Clown launch. Should be a clown launch. Oh. <laughs>
So yeah, Scott sent us the gig tickets and they were dressed the clown, so the clown makes a little cameo there. But also I got this. And it's a video I ordered off the internet. And it's probably, I need it for the good, the bad and the what the fucks. So I'm going to find out what this is. It's a white box. <laughs> What is it? 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 One or two videos I ordered. <laughs> it is. For guy from Dan, this is a very retro rare Corey Falman movie. Hi. And this is Summer Vacation starring Corey Falman. Previously view tip. £2.98 so it's pretty awesome that this is a UK release one first independent so I will be reviewing that in my good the bads and the what the fucks right next outtake here's an outtake for you um, you forgot you had two pop vinyls so Annie also has the mummy now was it the pop vinyl video I did with Godzilla you have that pop vinyl as well don't you mm -hmm. it's over there I'm not coming back up again who couldn't I read out in the back so this is uh, the mummy you can also get this is the, the metal in a meeting. That's the one I couldn't say in the video. So she has the mummy and she also has the underground exclusive Creature from the Black Lagoon pop file. Hey Paul Ray. Fuck you Paul Ray. Um, I love him. You can get glow in the dark ones of him as well. Um, in fact, no, it's not a glow in the dark one, is it? There is a glow in the dark one and there is a see one that, as well. Yeah, that's not it. So like on the book before, there's Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, The Mummy, Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Phantom of the Opera, and... Dracula? No. What? Him again. Oh, the Meta... Say it. Meta? The Meta Luna Mutant. The Meta Luna Mutant. Well done! Yeah. <laughs> Nosferatu. Very quick outtake when I was talking about the waxworks, I forgot about motherfucking Darkman. It's Darkman waxwork. How do I forget about Darkman? Next outtake. Here's an outtake for you. Sit death playing in the background and gives me one shot the fuck up still. So next outtake while I try and get this picture. Will you stop talking, man? Certain death like dancing to certain death. Probably get a copyright claim off YouTube, I'm sure Steel will let us use it. Here's an outtake for you. If you wipe the side of the screen, I'll gut shot. Totally forgot I took that picture about a year ago. I just saw it before that before. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, you know, Steven Monkey Mason. Steven Seagal. But if you get rid of that, and I think it's a landscape photo. Boom, right there. Wait a minute, get rid of that. Did you spot the mistake there? Not me making the mistake. It's not me making the mistake there. Steven Seagal is mainly known for Under Siege. On Deadly Ground, Batshit Crazy Film, Under Siege 2, Executive Decision, Nico, Above the Law, Out for Justice. What other classic films has he been in? Classic films. I'll leave that to Mark, Casper Abbott, because he is a massive Steven Seagal film. And Good Shot was one of the ones Casper bought. And just to show you how much Steven Seagal has gone down and he, in his work, there we go. That is actually on the box cover. And it hasn't been recalled. Steven Seagal's best film in years. I think that's what it says. I can't remember. All I remember is Steven is spelt wrong. On the fucking DVD box. <laughs> Get rid of that. Next outtake. That guy behind me is just tattooed my elbow. So anyway, I had the monkey box. Which you've seen earlier on in the video. And Jade's the first person I've seen. So Jade's about to get the monkey box. What's in the box? Don't open it. Yeah, it's yours. You get to keep what's in the box. Oh, what happened to him? I don't know. You know I don't like balloons, don't you? No, do you not? Well, the exploding shit, man. It's a tall horse. Or a long dog? It's a long dog. It's a long dog. What, what was that? It was another dog, but he sucked Big. it. Turned into sausages. Awesome. I get a novel here. 
Mitten Rock looks better than he did after the surgery, that's for sure. Terminator, same by. Vital Bean. Sweet. And that film, I made it the DVD. Thank you. On Blu ray. On Blu ray. I've got a new cup mat in the house. Thank you. So that was a monkey box. I added whiplash in at the last minute. And that's a backup balloon. Bet you can't blow one of them up. I can't. Here's another outtake. Postman's brought us another package. This has been such a random long video now. It's got even longer. And it is another Corey Feldman movie. Thanks for my purchase. Okay. It is The Dirty Dozen Meets Predator in Deep Space Legion. Um, an old Corey Feldman movie. And yeah, never seen it. Looking forward to seeing that. It has been around, it has been around, so yeah, I'll go next to summer vacation for now. Next outtake. Here's an outtake for you. I am in the middle of the woods. It's been a couple of weeks since filming Trotley's Town, and I've found some it, but I'm going to put it on the internet as a separate video called In the Woods with a Box of Blood. So bear with me a minute as I need to jump to the next scene. Okay, I find myself in the middle of the woods and last night me and Annie were looking for something to watch and she found this. The box of blood. She totally forgot she had it. Look at this man, it's fucking blood rolling around the cover. How awesome is that? We'll get a little bit closer, but yeah. Uh, box of blood has six of the most random vampire films you can imagine in a box set. Now it has the In Search of the Real Draclia. Draclia. Near Dark, Nosferatu, Vampires, Out for Blood, and another one what me and Annie were talking about was Vampires, where it's actually called Vampires, but it's called Daughters of Draclia. We missed that. So check this out when I open it. Bit of blood splatter going on there, just like to do with the Lost Boys trilogy box set. And all that, this is lovely, this. So there, search for the real Draclia. Draclia, it's a pack of Bergen one, I ain't seen that, Near Dark, lovely film, Catherine Bigelow, Zero Dark Thirty, Point of Break, brilliant film with Bill Paxton on the cover, Nosferatu, no, just no, the classic movie, wow this is absolutely tremendous, eh? Nosferatu, the vampire, actually this is a, a remake, is it? It's got copyrighted there in 1979. This could be uh, a remake. I'm not sure. I haven't watched this. As I say, I found it last night and then just walked going on a fucking man, random rant. Um, Vampires Out for Blood. That's a really creepy image. Kevin Dillon, Lance Harrigan. And last, but well, not least, Lesbo Vampires there. Vampires. Excellent to be right there. So it is an awesome, awesome box set. Absolutely awesome. It's got a. Little bootless as well. Stay, stay. Do not belong to me. So yeah, that is a few chapter selections and stuff like that, but yeah. So yeah, I'm in the middle of the woods and this is a box of bullard. This is a little internet short video as well as part of Welcome to Dratlia's town. Now I must hike back half an hour to my car. Here's an outtake for you. I don't know if this is going to be at the end or the middle of the outtakes, but this is the most recent footage film for Welcome to Dracula's Town, as today is the 26th of April, and it is my birthday, and Welcome to Dracula's Town was filmed almost three weeks ago, and as I'm finally editing the thing, finally editing, see, the handle is still there, um, I dragged my ass around concert this morning, and went around a few shops, and for 20 pence, you never guess what I found. The Basketball Diaries on DVD, absolutely meant so, the video is still there. So yeah, Basketball Diaries on DVD, and yes, the disc is inside it, so, next outtake. Okay, I have a new car, that's the front, that's the back. And get rid of that, that's me in the car. We need to know that. But yes, I finally got a new car, and yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching it. Welcome to Dracula's Town. What an epically fucking random video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.
Wow, um, I'm <clears throat> shit, man. Fuck. Um, put this at the end of the video. Um, I just switched my phone on there to check some of the pictures, and I've just found out that one of my childhood friends, David Wobsman, has died. Let me just there. Uh, Adam, myth. Oh my God, I feel so. S wow. I dedicate this video to you, David. I'm just totally shocked. So, I need to take a break before I do this. Okay, this is the very, very, very end of the video. Lonely Tree Entertainment in the black font has just appeared, so this is a right tail on because this is on Sunday. Which has been a couple, like three days this has all been filmed over. It's pretty batshit crazy. My arm is hurting like a motherfucker this morning. Um, thanks Jade, even though I kind of hate you at the moment. But I got a package to deliver today on a Sunday. And what is in the box, eh? It is! It is! He's here. He's officially here. It's my gizmo pop vinyl. <laughs> he is mint. So I have the Gremlin and the Gizmo and I put them next to Gizmo. Look, is it Gizmo for you? Yes, there we go. So yeah, brilliant. Right, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching, goodbye. It's just typical on my birthday, right? This would turn up in the post. I've been waiting for this for about two weeks. It is. The Burbs poster has finally come.